Hello everybody. Welcome to my little home concert here in honor of the Persian New Year, in honor of No Ruz, which means New Day. New, no Ruz is the first day of spring. It's the vernal equinox. My name is Kristen Lenz, and for those of you who already know me, thank you for attending my concert. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it from your home and safe and healthy and well. And those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm glad to meet you. I do speak Persian and I feel a very strong um, affection for the Persian New Year and I, I'm sure I always will because when I was 21 years old I had the opportunity to go and teach English in Iran. While I was there I learned uh, Persian reasonably well, at least, uh, you know, everyday Persian, nothing academic. And um, I learned some songs in Persian, and I developed a very deep love of the Persian culture, which I carry even to this day. And um, I think people all over the world are wishing for a better year and a better day today, and I'd just like to be part of the celebration. I'm talking for a little bit so that all of you can find me and follow me on this Facebook live stream. So um, I'll sing in a little bit. This is a half hour concert and I'm going to do a couple songs in Persian and then a couple songs in English. Just, uh, just to give everybody a little bit of cheer on this uh, challenging day of this challenging year. So I looked up a no ruse in Wikipedia because I wasn't sure how old it was and Wikipedia says 7,000 years. So it's probably one of the oldest continuously celebrated dates in any human history. And it's celebrated in many cultures around the world, in many languages. And it's a secular holiday. It's really connected to the cycle of the, the, the Earth and uh, the, the vernal equinox, first day of spring. Of course, if you're in the southern hemisphere, it's the first day of fall for you. <laughs> So um, it's, it's very important, and I wish a happy no to my Afghan friends, my Iranian friends, um, uh, Iranians all over the world, wherever you may be in the diaspora, and uh, all my friends who enjoy and admire Iranian culture, or just would like to learn more about it. So I'm going to start. I hope the technology is working, and... The battery hasn't gone dead and <laughs> good. I'm going to start with an old Persian folkloric song. And um, any Iranian who's grown up in an Iranian household knows this song. And uh, if you know it, you can sing along with me wherever you are. It's called I Want to Go to the Mountains, Mihom Beram Ku.
I appreciate it. I hope some of you are finding this and can be part of this live stream from my own home. To all of you, wishing the Iranian people health, happiness, freedom in the coming year and sharing my love and solidarity with them. All right. <laughs> Time for a song in English. This is called Let Justice Roll Down. There is no freedom, the wise one said, Let justice roll down, roll down. When the poor cry out for shelter and bread, let justice roll down like a mighty. Children, don't you get weary? Walk together, believe in a dream. When the way gets rough, we will make a new way. Let justice roll down like a mighty stream. Let justice roll down, roll down. Let justice roll down, roll down. Let justice roll down, roll down. Let justice roll down like a mighty stream.
The next song is a Persian song that I learned while I was in Iran. It's by a composer named Kurosh Yakmoyi. <laughs> I did record this on my second album with a solo cello. It's so beautiful. Um, the words are sad but still hopeful. It's talking about a little ice flower that grows even in the snow up in the north of Iran. It says that there's an ice flower growing in my heart. What shall I do? The loneliness is killing me. There's an ice flower growing in my heart. And by extension, we can say, we hope that that flower will bloom for Iran and for all of us all around the world right now. Goliath.
خیلی ممنونم خیلی متشکرم تشکرم thank you thank you very much sad song to sing right now isn't it Okay, so the next song is one of my own, and it's a reminder that even in the worst crises, we can share and help each other. We need to help each other in appropriate ways right now, which I think probably means social distance, but also to support our medical caregivers and our frontline people by finding them the equipment they need. This song is called Sharing. And I wrote it a long time ago. It's a children's song. And uh, I hope wherever you are that you might just waltz along with it in your chair or wherever. So it's called Sharing, Sharing, Isn't It Fun? and I think it might be my last song because <laughs> it's a hard act to follow. It's another song that I learned when I was in Iran and it's a very, uh, very popular and very powerful song. I think that the singer and, and author of it was named Aref. Maybe uh, those of you who are following can, can confirm that in the comments. And uh, it says, I wish, Koshki, I wish that hearts were never broken I wish that the clouds would pull aside and show us the stars. I wish that there were no war, no hate, no sadness. And I call out for help from God, Koshki. 
every time you hear Koshki, there is a new wish coming up. So this is called Koshki, dedicated with love to my Iranian friends on the occasion of the Persian New Year. Solenoi Shoma Mubarak. And that's the end of my concert for now. Signing off, Kristen Lowndes. <laughs>